For migrants, a new day began in a familiar fashion, on a boat between Turkey and Greece. Except this time, they're headed back to where they came from, deported from Europe, where they had hoped to stay. And the procedure was very calm. Everything was very orderly. Um, migrants were put on buses. Put on buses and taken away. Today, more than 200 were sent from Greece to Turkey, a fraction of the total number of migrants who've arrived in Greece just this year. That country is now stopping every migrant, getting off a boat and deporting most of them. Today, the majority were from Pakistan. As the controversial plan came into effect, border officers escorted migrants away one by one. A Coast Guard ship followed closely with a helicopter overhead. Even riot police on Lesbos prepared for trouble, but there was very little. No deportations! Only a group of protesters with a plea to stop the deportations. It's very shameful what we see today. This is not the Europe I stand for. Once in Turkey, migrants were ID'd and checked for illnesses. The concern is what happens to them after that. All of this is based on the assumption that Turkey is a safe country for refugees, and we've documented very clearly uh, that it is not right now. Turkey is where all these deported migrants will go, though not all will stay there. Those not from Syria will get sent back to their home countries. The Syrians will stay in Turkey. But for every one migrant who's sent back, a Syrian in Turkey will be resettled in Europe through proper channels. Today, the first few landed in Germany. This is what we see as a new uh, organized paradigm of the way to manage the refugee flows. The hope is the strategy will curb illegal migration and lead to fewer scenes like this one again today. Migrants attempting to reach Europe having to be rescued by the Coast Guard. Arriving on shore only to find out they too would be sent to Turkey. We don't want to go there anymore. Anywhere is better than Turkey. This may be a contentious plan, but it's the first real attempt to fix the worst migration crisis in decades, Peter. All right, Thomas, thank you.